Hello viewers, today we are going to be looking at pie chart. Pie chart in a simple way, pie chart simply means a system of using a circle to present large data. So it means when you are using a circle to present large data, that means you are using pie chart. So pie chart is one of the uh, tools used in economics and other area of studies. Let's look at pie charts by definition. Pie chart is a circular chart divided into sectors. It means that when you have you have a circle like this, don't forget I said that pie chart is a way of using a circle to present large data. Now, you have a circle like this and you divide a circle into different sectors. Different sectors. Different sectors. It means different parts that you are using a pie chart. It's as simple as that. When you just want to recollect what pie chart is all about, just recollect the fact that using a circle to present a data means pie chart. Now, each sector shows relative size of each value represented in a data. So each sector you have here will be representing a particular proportion of the whole data. So like these examples we have here now, the pie chart below shows the age distribution of X country with a total population of 72 persons. Now, in this country now, we have 72 persons in this country. Now, so we are now using this circle called what? Pie chart to present the, the total number of persons. You can see. And we have how many sectors here? Based on what I've explained here, can someone tell me how many sectors we have here? How many sectors? How many? Okay. One, two, three, four. That's correct. Four sectors. We have four sectors. Do you understand that? So now, when we have these sectors, each sector has what it represents has its own proportion of these 72 persons. So this first one represents some portion of these 72 persons. This also represents some proportion of 72 persons. And this also represents some, uh, some uh, proportion of 72 persons. Now that is what we mean by uh, pie charts. Now, let's solve this question. In your exams, whether we're heck or jam, you can have a question like this, that the pie chart below shows the age distribution of X country. We are having X country because it's a known country. It's just an imaginary because it's a hypothetical country. With the total population of 72 persons, then you are asked, question one, find X. If you look at this data very well, you have 220 here, you have 43 here, you have 75 degree here, you have X degree here. And when you look at it now, X degree, so what is that X degree? How do you find the X degree? So that is very simple. You know what you, what you just have to do, okay? Now, you know, degree, total, let me ask you this question also. Can someone tell me now, what is the sum of angles at a point? Sum of angles at a point. 360 degree, correct, 360, yes, 360. So when you have this now, when you have a circle, the total, the, the summation, the summation of all sectors in a circle must equal 360 degrees. That is what you must know. When you have all the sectors, if you like, let the sector be in seven or ten places. You have ten sectors, you have 40 sectors. When you have everything together, I must give you 360 degrees. So now, what you just have to do now is we have this, we have this, we have this, we have, you don't just have X. So what you have to do is just add everything together. That I'm having everything together like X plus 75 degree, plus 43 degree, plus 220 degree. So I know everything, when I had everything together in this circle, which is here, it's gonna give me 360. That is what you're going to do, 360 degree. So you had all of this together, take it to the other side, so your X will definitely give you 22 degree. I hope you're not asking me how I get 22 degree. If you ask me this, I will need to collect thousands of dollars from you, before I can teach you that. You know you just collect the X, make X of your formula, take all of this thing to the other side, 360 minus all of this value here, you have 22 degrees. So it means our X here is what? 22 degrees. It's as simple as that. So let me also take you through this second question. I can rub off this right, okay? So let's, say, let's look at the second question. We have, okay, you can be hard to find, 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 Number of persons, number of persons, of persons, 
between 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 let's use this between 19 years to 64 years so if you want to find this it's also simple you know what you're going to do so you just have you have your number of persons so your answer will be the number of persons you have number of persons of persons now between 19 to 64 we equals you will check the value of degree you have representing that to total number of persons you know this is not total number of persons it's just degree this just represent it's just a representative of course no it's just representing a particular value in the data representing in the data it's just representing a particular value so take this one that is concerned now the question the, the, the degree concern here which is 75 because if you are asked to find from 12 to 18 years the degree concern will be 22 so because you are asked to find from 19 to 64 the degree concern is 75 make it 75 over the total degree in the circle which is 360 times they look at the number of persons you have the real value of the persons you have the real value of population it could be income sometimes it could be population it could be any other you know uh, figure or or name so or variables so let's have 72 percent 72,000 persons here whatever you have here that's what you're going to put here so you can divide it here you can divide it here so when you say 36 here one 36 here that will be two two that will be 200 left. So when you do this now, so number of persons here, number of persons, number of persons equals 75 times 200. That is going to give you, I think, 15,000. I think I'm correct. 15,000. So if you have 15,000 15, persons between 19 to 64 years. So this 75 degree is representing 15,000 persons. You can see a pie chart is a circular chart divided into sector. Each shows re relative size. So this is the relative size 75 degrees, the relative size of 15,000 15, 15, persons in this total population of 72 persons. Please subscribe and get more of our videos. Thank you.